Hiya, it's Goblin Senshman here. So I've got something slightly different for you today. Um, it's basically using Excel to generate a pseudo um, isometric array. Um, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're quite familiar with the idea of isometric paper, which looks a bit like this. Um, kind of a series of triangles joined together in hexagons to form a sort of a wider array, which then allows you to draw sort of maps that look kind of 3D-ish or possibly geometric shapes of this. So um, this idea came from looking at my WordPress blog metrics. And I saw that someone had Googled the term isometric paper, isometric Excel. And uh, I think they were looking for this, which is basically uh, a widget I wrote in Excel where you, and, and, and actually I should say Luna Jin wrote the macro, but you draw you draw the map like this and then you press this uh, auto button and it will fill in the walls to generate something that looks um, uh, pseudo 3D. Now I think someone pointed out that it wasn't actually really isometric, it was more, I can't remember the correct terminology, was it a um, uh, 3G projection or something, or prismatic projection, I can't quite remember anyway. So I don't think I'm going to risk pressing auto wall right now just because while I record and my low disk space it'll probably hang or something annoying so I'm just going to continue so but there's a video on YouTube you can watch it do its magic there so returning to the paper so here we go so I put an image like this up on MeWe and I think someone remarked that this was magic and um, in a sense they're right um, but not not quite the magic I think they intend so um, this is not Gandalf magic, it's not space, bending space and time to generate something really unusual. So it's, I haven't managed to convince Excel to make triangular shaped um, cells, that would be quite something. But um, it's, it's more the school of magic, uh, the, you know, the David Copperfield school of magic. Is, am I getting, is, that a, is that a Dickens character? Am I getting me anyway, you, you know the guy, the you know big hair, tigers, Las Vegas, that guy. So it's magic in the sense that it's an it's a, an optical illusion more than anything. So um, I think you can really see what's happening. If, say, well, have a look. This 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 square there is the smallest cell. So if I make a cell that's uh, a rectangle, and I draw a diagonal line through it like that, and then I do one there and one here and one here. You can see um, by using the kind of selective uh, shading pattern, I can actually generate this grid. Now that's basically all that's happening. Um, so it's a careful selection of cell size and shading pattern. You can generate something that looks like an isometric map. So if I want to actually draw on it, just go home, pick the um, the thing that does boxes, and pick uh, the, th the fat line. Well that's what, I, what I'm doing. You can change the colour, you can do all sorts. So what you do is you just very carefully draw these diagonal lines yeah, there you go, so that's, that's showing the true bones of it because Excel doesn't really like the idea of diagonals, it much prefers uh, verticals and um, horizontals, so drawing diagonals challenges, but, you, know, you can see it's very easy to draw the verticals if you really want to that's no bother at all, or it'll happily comply with you but you can see drawing the diagonals can be done, you just need a bit of patience, so to that extent, it's it's <laughs> it's clunky. It's a bit of a pain, but it, it, you know it'll it'll kind of draw you know um, an isometric map if you're you're inclined to persevere. Now, um, maybe it, it's not the greatest tool in the world, but you can give it a go. I mean, I did think of ways of making this better, but I thought in the end I over-engineer these things often and more far beyond what people actually want. Um, one thing I've not said in my videos before is, but there's nothing stopping you. Um, taking little images and, and reducing them or cutting them out and sticking it in your any of these maps. So here you go, I've made some critters here. So you just um, pop them in and then, you know, they could, but instead of critters you could use archways, stairwells, traps, doorways, if I haven't said doorways already. Ready? So you could draw the bones of your map and then add these little little guys, you know, doodle, doodle, ah, there he is going down. Anyway, um, so that's it. Um, I, 